What's up guys? Welcome back. So this is my review video for the new update. Um, a new update just basically dropped. They, the news was just kind of announced yesterday and they gave us a, a list of the things that are going to be um, included in, in a new update. This was kind of announced on, yeah, it was announced on the 16th, so basically yesterday. And they also have like the update patches and stuff, just basically um, everything that's going to be going on in the game. So I'm going to be going through this, and I'm also going to be taking a look at all the updates, all the parts of the updates um, in the game. So we're going to go through the, the list first, basically, just everything that they're, they're going to change. So they already, this is the change for... Um, for the Colosseum, basically for PvP, basically changed it so um, you get 10, 10 wings or 10 tickets to do it, and you the cool time for cooldown time for the um, arena has been reduced to three minutes, and also they increased the gold prices for or not the prices but the gold rewards for participating in the arena just to kind of increase um, the competitiveness of the the game a little bit. So I guess that's 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 pretty good. Um, they also extended the oh yeah this is this is the update this this over here this portion is basically just what dropped yesterday so they basically increased max level to level 56 so we're gonna be definitely gonna have to level up again um, I was so close to max level but now, uh, now I'm further away from it like people are gonna be progressing again um, it kind of makes me regret not working super hard before like I I would be level like 51 maybe if I if I didn't miss a single thing and just like made sure I I um, you know I, I progressed properly every single day so there's that and then there's the um, yeah, there's a new black market. So basically, I think this is just a new shop. Um, equipment items and reforged stones can be bought. So basically, this is to buy the reforged stones. I have no idea what the reforged stones do. Soul stone salvage, swap soul stones. This is actually something that is, is exciting me a lot because I, I um, you know, as as someone that like isn't like hardcore, hard, like really hardcore pay to win, it's really hard for you to increase the the um, the star level of your monsters, especially your main team. So this can help you a little bit with that. It can help you increase the the star level of your main team, and it'll kind of just boost the competitive competitiveness of um, I think arena and stuff in general. So I think that's definitely really really nice. The optimization for Android iOS, so basically faster loading times. This is always good. Um, excited for for faster loading times. This is the the donation reward. So if you donate to your guild, um, you basically it gives you daggers back when you're whenever you donate, meaning that hmm, this could be pretty good as well. Because if you donate, if you donate 100 diamonds, you get 50 back. So that's like 50% of if you just buy daggers actually no if you think about it for now because they didn't change the dagger prices yet it might be better like if you have extra diamonds and you want to you want more energy it might be better to donate to the guild and then you can get more daggers back you know it might be cheaper to do that because like past the 100 and um like 150 diamond stage maybe it's it could be better to it definitely before it hits 300, because it's if you think about it, it's um you you buy like when you the first two buys it's a hundred daggers for a hundred um you know hundred diamonds for a hundred daggers, and then it becomes a hundred fifty, meaning that the dagger prices each dagger would cost you 1.5 you know diamond basically, and then this is the this is like so it's like a like a one point like a three to God damn it! My math is so bad. Um, but basically, it's like it's like a seventy. It was a seventy-five percent ratio. Three hundred, it becomes like a thirty-three percent ratio. This is a fifty percent ratio. So meaning that um, if you want more daggers after after the after you refill four times, if you want to refill the fifth time, um, don't do that. But instead, buy the dime, like donate your diamonds to the guild, and it gives you fifty daggers back. I think that's pretty pretty nice. Also, this is really nice. If you donate five times a day, you get 50, 50 daggers. If you donate with gold, but then gold's pretty pretty valuable as well. So I'm not sure if um that's totally worth it. 
But then you can use those 50 daggers to make some gold back, but I don't think you can make that much gold back in, with 50 daggers. Um, the dagger costs were story stages, and the amount of Athena rewards will be changed. I can't actually understand this, like I have no idea what this actually means. The, at the very start and at the very end, I don't think this is written very well. But basically, they, um, they, they probably decrease the, the costs of, of daggers and stuff. And um, there will be design improvements in the main, to the main features of the game, such as Guild Wars or Fortress Battle. This is really, really good news. Like this is what, what, um, what the basically every every everything that was that that can fix the game. Like everything that's wrong with the game can really be fixed with just in, improving Guild Wars and Fortress Battles because it gives players. I think the the key word here is incentive. Like players need to have an incentive to want to increase the overall strength of their team. And the only the, the really a really good way is to offer like be better uh, guild battle features. So like um, have more competitive competitiveness, meaning that if you have like a stronger team, stronger monsters in general, they'll be easier for you to win in guild battles and stuff. Like you can you have a it gives you an edge in, in competitiveness in guild battles, and then that gives players an incentive to want to become stronger. So meaning that they will either invest more time in the game and work harder. Or they might invest more money into the game and just buy, go pay to win and shit, you know? So I think um, fixing guild battles will definitely um, just increase the the just the, the health of, of the game in general. And this is the next update. This is uh, what's going to be happening afterwards. So they're, they're going to give uh, real-time arena PvP. Um, and it says lots of pets available to be used, like... Where you like guild wars i'm not sure how this exactly works but basically the the whole arena system is going to be changed um i think they they kind of understand that um there's a lot of limitations if you only limit the game to five main monsters obviously having five main monsters there's there's a lot of benefits to that because you for story stage for tower you can only use five monsters for raids you can only use five monsters but um I think the original intent for the design of the game was to make it so that you have to have a lot of monsters, you know, so you can use all those monsters for Guild Wars for, for various things, basically for Guild Wars and Fortress Battles. Um, and this gives players an incentive to want to raise more monsters, so even when they are when they hit a bottleneck, like, they can't transmute or level their monsters even further, they'll be looking toward, towards um, raising some alternate monsters and some other monsters that they might use for guild wars and, and fortress battles and stuff. So um, this will definitely this will definitely give players a lot more things to do, like if they if they change the system to make it so that you, you can use more monsters in the game. Um, they're adding a new map, this is definitely nice. Uh, this I'm I'm like I'm like eagerly waiting for this, because once this shit hits I might go really hard, like just I might start paying again and just um just go hard, just basically buy daggers and exchange for diamonds and just keep playing non-stop. Um, and they're, they're also claiming that they're going to be making more improvements to Guild Wars, which is, which is definitely nice. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, gold rewards, dagger pouches, explorable, acquired from exploration. Basically, they're giving players more, more things to do, just base, just so... Like a like a bigger treadmill, so people, players can can keep going, um, which is definitely nice. I think I I'm really really happy like with with what they did. I think the the developers did a really really good job. Like they, well not just the developers, but I I think um, the the um, the community team also also deserves some praise as well. I think they they did a really good job in making this and letting players know what they're planning. And this is um, this is something that. I, I've seen before, like, like a lot of uh, companies they don't bother, but I think this is definitely good because it keeps players in the loop. It keeps players that are that are on the edge, like hopeful um, about what's what's going to happen. And this this actually just shows that they they actually care about the game, care about the community, and is willing to listen to to feedback and stuff. So um, yeah, really, 
props to the props to the, both the development team and also the community team for Linus Red Knights. Um, thank you very much for for making this this really awesome game, and I'm I'm having so much fun playing now. Like it's just I, I've I've actually still had a lot of fun playing, but I, you know the the previous video I made before wasn't wasn't made for me. It was made for people that like because a lot of people were, were having a lot of complaints for the game. That's why I made the video because I I definitely do want to see this game do well. I I have a lot of uh, you know just. I, I spent I spent a lot of time. I spent some money, and I also had had a lot have a lot of fun. And I th definitely think it's a game that has a lot of potential. That and that's why I I um you know I've I've basically stuck by the whole time. And this is really really good news. I think um it's definitely definitely me sticking by is definitely being rewarded with this. So this is the actual update notes of what what actually changed. Um basically all the portions over here um, is is what they added. And that's pretty much it. A guild name level in arms will be seen on a fortress. Oh, so this is like a visual effect. I, I should actually check that in the game. All right, that's that's pretty much it for the for the actual like you know going through the list. I'm gonna be actually taking a look at the all the things that I uh, um, discovered in the game and also going through the events and new packs as well. Just everything that this update has brought with it you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be taking a look at it i didn't actually know that wait let me let me go look at our fortress i think that would be sweet wait they changed the arena back to five i think i think there was no real point in making them have 10 tickets i mean you get more tries to do do more things but um i think five is definitely still enough so you definitely don't need to make make any changes in that regard Wait, I want to take a look at our fortress. Holy shit, this looks sweet. Damn. Oh man, this this actually looks really good. Like, what is all this glowing shit? Like, I I don't understand. But, dude, this looks really nice. I have no idea what that that twenty five is. Maybe it's the amount of units. It's the amount of units in the fortress, so you, it gives you a little bit of information before you hit them. Wait, that, that kind of reminds me. This might be a new fortress, since it only has 25 units in it. Oh wait, no, never mind. I already have units in it. Damn, this looks sweet. Like, visually, this looks so good. Like, Lineage Red Nice, I gotta say, it has one of the best visuals in the game. Then putting these monsters here like, just makes it look so cool. Look at this. Oh man. This really looks looks cool. Holy shit. Alright, um, that's that's enough um that's enough of fortress battle porn right there. Oh yeah, also there's the black market. Um, I, t I did take a quick look at this, and I have no idea why the co cost of all this shit is like super, super high. I'm not sure if this is good. Like, it's it's blue quality, but I'm not sure how good the, the actual item is. I mean, this is 478, right? 478, if I, if I compare it to what I whatever I have on Ashley right now. Yeah, it's it's definitely not that um, definitely not that good. The gear is sold there. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's um, maybe there's a specific purpose for this. But I have no idea what the reforge zone is. Reforges a rare equipment. Reforge a rare equipment. Wait. All right. Let me let me just take a look at the the reforge stone. Maybe it can change the stats of some of your items. Oh, oh, I think I know what it is. It's basically um it's basically a material for you to use to replace um using other items as reforged materials basically. So it, this what this means is you you won't have to use other materials to to reforge it if you use the reforge zone. So it's basically like a replacement material. But man, the prices are so high, this is insane. 
I definitely don't think it's worth 600 diamonds. This is this is definitely like everything here is definitely super super overpriced, in my opinion. Um, close the door behind you. All oh, this is yours for a low price. Are you kidding me? This is a low price. They're definitely gonna gonna fix that. Like that that that's that's fucked up. Um. Anyways, don't like. I I. I I definitely um I definitely think that the develop the the devs are trying really hard. Don't don't like don't 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 quite bitch at them just yet. Don't quite bitch at them just yet. Um, but there's the soul stone thing. Like you can you can use you can feed all these uh random soul stones that you don't want for your monsters. Like you can feed them into the into your blob or slime, and for each one you feed, it gives you one crystalloid. And with the crystalloid, you can buy pieces in the shop. If you go to the shop... Um, it's over... Oh my god, I can't afford this. This thing finally popped up and I, I'm still... I'm short a thousand, because I, I spent my last a thousand on, on like gloves or something. I, lots of regret there. Um, damn, alright, maybe I should... I, I, I oughta... I oughta... Um, I ought to sell some stuff and start working on getting Death Knight and Adele. I think the only two monsters that I'm probably going to be working on for this is Death Knight and Adele because they're my they're my main monsters that I'm using. So yeah, but this is going to take a long time as well. This is definitely still going to take a long time, but it gives it gives players a way to progress because um, you know if you don't have if you have monsters that you don't need, then you can just or you don't. Yeah, you, if you have monsters, the soul stone for monsters that you don't need, you can just feed them to your blob, and then um, you can get soul stones here. So I think you can definitely farm eight a day. I mean, I need sixteen a day, which is pretty pretty rough, but it's still it's still it's still not that difficult, I think. Which makes me think maybe I'll maybe what I'll do with my with my energy every day is like farm farm um, normal stages for soul stones and then just feed them and use them all right uh what what do i sacrifice this this thing hawk trees I'm, I'm definitely not gonna get them to five stars so i'm gonna i'm gonna take 16 here all right i have 16 from from that Wait, no, this isn't it. Damn it. Alright. I'll basically just do this every single day, basically. Like, like if, if Death Knight and Adele pop up, I'll just buy them. And then I'll slowly, slowly, very slowly, um, eventually get them to four stars at some point. Um... I think that was pretty much it. I mean, there's a there's a new event now. Like, there's a event for the for this elder. Like, the elder pops up. Um, it's not as good. Oh, wait, maybe I should open that bag. I'll open that that bag later, and we'll see what what I get. It's not as good as the the Santa event from before because he doesn't doesn't give as much gold. But um, to to just like I think that's justified because on on the 25th, like once they once they have the next um, update, the dagger cost for everything is going to be lower. So it means you're going to be able to farm more for more gold, which actually is really nice because this also rewards players for actually playing the game. Um, oh wait, there's a New, Year New Year's event too? Is this... Defeat King Cocktrees at the Time Rift. Alright, this, this is pretty nice. I get 30 pieces. I'm definitely. I'm probably not gonna raise him, but I can use those. I can use those pieces for my uh, death knight and shit. Well, Olga has a new costume, but my Olga already has a costume. That costumes cost so much. Probably like just if you ever want a costume, like. Um, no, nah, I probably just don't <laughs> don't buy costumes. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Like, it's probably better to j use your your gems for refilling once they change it. Um, like if 
if you're limited, but if you're like hardcore pay to win, you have like a shit ton of money, then you buy the costumes. But I gotta take take a look look at the package as well. Uh, the price is in Taiwan dollars, but this roughly translates to thirty dollars. Yeah, this is like about this translates to about thirty dollars. Um, you get this. I have no idea what the enhanced Sherlens rough fragment does. Man, they should actually like they should actually explain what the hell these things are. Cuz I think I, th I think a lot of people are confused. Are really really confused. Oh, did they refresh this? Yes. All right, time for me to time for me to go hard and buy daggers. Holy shit. All right, let's let's do this. Um Alright, I think that's pretty much it. There's, um, that's, that's all there is to it. So, all in all, I think, all, I think things are, things are going good. And they also added this, this new feature where they, where the boss spawns, like it, it shows you, um, it shows you boss that, bosses that were found and the ones you missed and the ones you did and stuff. So I think that's, that's pretty cool as well. Man, actually, I'm gonna have to do that time rift. I'm gonna have to do the do the time rift for the uh, for, for this this thing. Possible rewards: diamonds, soulstone pieces. All right, that's that's still good. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I can use anything. All right, main comp. Yeah, main comp. Um, we're just going with our strongest comp. See, see how strong he actually is. <laughs> Man, this is so funny. I love the visuals of this game. Like, I, I love it so much. It's, it's just perfect. Because I, I really like um, Dragon Nest, and this, this, it looks exactly the same. Nice, I got two pieces. Alright, I can do level 2 now. Oh man, this also gives potions? Holy shit. Man, this is such a good event. But I think, like, everything is nice, but the, the greatest thing is there are they're saying that they're gonna make changes, like actual gameplay changes to the game, which is probably the most important thing. Um, that was a lot of gold as well, that was, that was quite a lot of gold. I think you can only do it twice a day. Hey, maybe I should buy a try. I mean, it only costs 70, right? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Oh shit! Is it Full Moon Temple today? Oh no, the, the, the... The thing isn't shared. All right, that that kind of scared me for a sec, because I was like, "Holy shit! I need to I need to farm Owen today." Um, you can buy a try. Definitely worth buying a try. I think the rewards are so good. I think my only one complaint is the black market. Like th that that shit is so overpriced. It's not just a little bit overpriced. It's like, it's it's. Way, way, way out of proportion. Um, but I think all in all, all in all, the update's really nice. Really happy that the 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 um, developers are are working, working hard to make this game better. Look at this shit! Like I get, I get three pieces. I got, I got diamond, fifty diamond. I get small dagger pouches. It's like twenty daggers. This is this is sixty daggers right here. I get. Um, I get EXP potions. This is a pretty good potion. These two are are like on daily lockout, so they're definitely nice to get. Uh, I I have an enchanting scroll. Like this is this is whatever, but like holy shit, this is so good. And I get 20 20k gold. Damn, I, I can't buy another try, can I? Oh, and I also get the boxes for for the event, right? They need to make more of these types of events, the ones that reward you for playing every single day instead of just giving out shit for free. Because um, 
Yeah, basically it's it's better because players reward. Player, players are, are rewarded for like, you know, um, playing the game, which which definitely helps. That's 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 what people want, you know. Oh wait, I was gonna open the boxes. I was gonna see what's in the, what what are actually in the boxes. I'm so happy that I can actually like raise these two monsters instead of uh waiting on some random daily lockout. Wait, where are the boxes? Oh wait, are they are they sent to my mail? All right, I'll, I'll get. I guess I'll open these raid boss boxes first. Nice, I got an epic drop. You know, all my good drops are from the <laughs> these small boxes. I never get anything good from the big one. I think it's rigged. I love doing the raid bosses now because I I can one shot them. Like I I can basically like a hundred to zero in one hit. Okay, not bad, not bad. Four more boxes here. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, baby. Sweet, sweet loot. Alright, so which one's which? This is the Cocktrees box, and this this one's the Elder box. Um, Alright, we'll, we'll use this and see what it, what's actually inside. It's a uh, armor enchanting scroll. I mean, that's, that's, that's not bad. Um... What's in this one then? Oh nice, huge dagger pouches, 50 daggers. I like it. I like this a lot. Um, that that Cocktrees event is so good, it's like one of the best. I'm not sure if it's better than the Santa event, because that Santa event gave us so much gold, but this one gives so much shit, like it gives you pieces, and the, the Soul Stone pieces is actually worth something now, because you can actually use them to get the monsters you actually want. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's 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 really all there is to it. So yeah, that's my that's just kind of uh, a first look at the new patch. Um, I I'm really happy. Like just overall, I'm really really happy that the developers are are making making changes. I'm really happy that the community team is communicating with us. Um, and and yeah, I'm I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. So thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, NCSoft, for making this game. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Oh my god, I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.